Happy anniversary. <laughs> That's right, I'm too cheap to run to a dollar store to get a party favor to toot, but it's the first anniversary of Windows 11. And to celebrate, I got you all these new features. You're welcome. Windows 11 is a year old, our beautiful, bouncing baby operating system. And with its first birthday, we welcome the first major feature update, what you might see called the 22H2 update. This update brings a ton of requested features to enhance productivity and refine the vision set out by Windows 11 at launch. Let's dive right in. But I should mention right out of the gate, the title of this video, it's misleading. I'm sorry, I can't show you everything new in 22H2 because this new version of Windows introduces rolling updates to major features. Much like how subscribers to Microsoft 365 will see new features appear in Word or PowerPoint over time, rather than in one big major update, Windows 11 now receives new features as they are available. So great new stuff will be coming all the time. Okay, let's actually show some new stuff and I want to start where else but the start menu, hardy har har, here we go. 22H2 brings more customization to the start menu, allowing for the creation of folders simply by dragging two pinned apps on top of one another. It's a simple and clean experience that goes a long way to making this space feel even less cluttered. You can also change what start focuses on in the settings app. If you use a ton of pinned apps and fewer recommended files, you can choose to focus on apps and vice versa. I love keeping my desktop clean of files and shortcuts. The start menu is where all of that lives now. And now I have the tools to really make that space my own. While we're here on the desktop, let's talk taskbar, a big feature from earlier editions of Windows that was sadly missing in the last year of Windows 11 was drag and drop, moving files or other items from app to app by heading down to the taskbar. And yes, it's back. I promise you it is back. Multitasking with the taskbar is just easier. And it's just nice to restore functionality that so many folks were missing. Beyond that, in the taskbar, you'll see other improvements like adding a quick Bluetooth menu in quick settings and adding focus functionality within the clock app into notifications. Snap layouts are my favorite feature in Windows 11 easily. So I was delighted to see that they fixed a notable miss in the original version without a mouse or a keyboard or knowing the keyboard shortcuts, it's really tough to execute. Now, every time you move a window, either with touch or with your mouse, you will see the snap bar. Just drag your window into this bar to select the layout that you want. And that's not the only touch improvement, far from it. New swipe gestures on your screen let you bring up the start menu or quick settings or switch between open apps and more. These gestures are matched by fluid animations. So the UI elements are following your finger rather than playing a preset animation. And that just increases how responsive Windows 11 feels with touch. There are a lot of new goodies in the file explorer in 22H2, starting with the redesigned default home page that you see when you open File Explorer called Home. This combines quick access to common folders like your downloads and pictures and recent files and the new area favorites. Right click a file to add it to this home page favorites section. Your OneDrive is also front and center right underneath Home in the sidebar. And if you wanna start with your OneDrive files on demand, you can default the File Explorer to open there or even your PC instead of that home page. And speaking of OneDrive, if you're in a OneDrive folder in File Explorer, you will see a sync button in the top right of the File Explorer window, giving you a quick glimpse of your sync progress, just like the OneDrive flyout in the system tray. Now let's take a look at a couple of apps first, Check out this redesigned task manager. Oh yeah, this brand new visual overhaul brings it up to par with the rest of Windows 11 and introduces a number of features, like having dedicated run and end task buttons in that process menu, and an entirely new sidebar UI and settings to manage task manager's default page and more. The last time task manager was updated was back in Windows 8. It's about time task manager treated itself to a little pampering. 
Windows 11 version 22H2 brings a brand new app into the mix. It's called ClipChamp and it's a free video editor. It is incredibly easy to use and to get started with, and it gets better when you pair it with a Microsoft 365 subscription. It's easy to use with touch. It is built with social media content creators in mind, and it's capable of helping you build a complete brand kit with templates, fonts, colors, logos, and more. ClipChamp is a robust video editor, and now it's built right into Windows 11. And we will have a deep dive on ClipChamp on this channel very soon, so subscribe for more. Windows 11 version 22H2 introduces three major new features in the accessibility menu. Live captions allows for system-wide on-screen captions, no matter what app is producing sound, even your own microphone. All offline, so no internet connection is required. Natural narrator voices improve the quality of, you guessed it, the voices within the narrator to make them sound less robotic and unpleasant when having long stretches of text narrated. And voice access enables full control of your PC using your voice. Common commands like open start or scroll edge work like you'd expect, but you can even use your voice to move your mouse cursor to specific locations, select items, and speak sentences into text boxes. It's all about reducing the disability divide and making sure no one gets left behind. That about wraps it up for the new features available right now, but... Yeah, I lied earlier. More exciting features are on the way before the year is even through. I am talking about smart suggestions. I am talking about updates to the Photos app. And yes, at long last, tabs in the File Explorer for all of those updates and more. Make sure you are subscribed to here, the North American Expert Zone channel, and leave a comment on this video about what you're most excited about in the 22H2 update to Windows 11. We will talk to you next time. It doesn't even make noise. I have to do that manually. Mm.